Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. I uh, hope you had a good lunch time. Uh, my name is John Weathers. I'll be your FMCS facilitator for this afternoon. Uh, we're here on uh, session four of uh, school loan uh, forgiveness and uh, day two. So I'm going to hand it off to Tammy. If you have anything from your break, I know you were considering some things. Thank you, John. If if at this time the screen sharers could share, <clears throat> excuse me, could share um, paragraph D. Just a second to get my screen where it needs to be. OK. <clears throat> Over the break, um, we looked at the recommendations that you guys had for paragraph D for the process of uh, process for additional relief. We have decided to add the words after acquired through an application or any other means to provide relief, including automated relief. So that's the only change that we have from the reg text that we provided to you this morning. We have added the words or, um, excuse me, any other means. So hopefully that will solve the concern that was presented by you guys, and we appreciate your help with that. All right, thank you, Tammy. Um, I see that Jessica has put her hand up. Go ahead, Jessica. Thanks, sorry, I was trying to catch you before we stopped the screen share. Could you, just to be really careful, Tammy, could you just go through one more time that end of C that was not the same on the PDF? I know you talked about it this morning, but I think since it's not what was sent to us, could you just, if you have it? Give me just a second. So, this is where we excluded the final clause of paragraph C. And so we are proposing to change the words effective date to publication date. So the only change that you're looking at is the word effective to publication date. Thank you, Tammy. Uh, any questions or comments about uh, the change to D? Jessica, go ahead. Thanks, I just wanna uh, thank you for taking that into consideration. I think that's not exactly how I would have done it, but I think that the, it does make it clear what the department's intentions here, and I understand you have a lot of layers of approval, and I appreciate that you've tried to do it so quickly, so thank you. Thank you. All right, any other questions about the proposed change to D? All right, uh, Tammy, uh, I would ask you what we're going to do next then. Um, we also had a clarifying comment that we wanted our um, Office of General Counsel to make, so I'm gonna ask Soren to come on screen and um, provide a clarifying statement. And then after that, if there's no additional discussion, we can proceed through the next steps of final consensus. Okay, thank you. Soren? Great, thank you, Tammy. Uh, we just wanted to uh, clarify a quick thing, picking up on what Jaleel was saying before the lunch break. The department welcomes feedback as we continue the development of the model. However, any feedback uh, needs to be submitted through our public processes. Just wanted to make that clarification. All right, thank you, Soren. And if there's nothing else, I believe that we're going to move to consensus now. Uh, just a reminder that we're gonna take the consensus on the regulatory text as a whole, and that consensus of the committee is an agreement, or at least it's not a dissent of the proposed uh, regulatory uh, text. Uh, remember uh, our uh, how we do this, uh, thumbs up for uh, an agreement, uh, sideways if you can live with it, Thumbs down would be a dissent. Uh, and we're going to be taking consensus. I'll be taking it based on my screen, so I'll go uh, basically in a roll call fashion, uh, one by one. Uh, Jalil, you had a question? 
Um, just wanted to make a note before we um, go to do consensus. Um, I think, you know, we're in the fourth session that the department has brought regulatory text that a lot of the ne negotiators feel positive around and we understand that details and criteria and parameters still have to be worked out. And I appreciate the point that we um, can still send in um, proposals to the public process. Um, but I just want to underscore one more time as we get close to ending our day that for these regulations to actually work for borrowers, we really have to make sure that we are thinking about the technicalities of these policies and really emphasizing that borrowers who have really tried to follow the ever changing um, proposals coming from the department, that they're not penalized for any of the programs or consolidations or any of the choices that they made following the direct the previous direction of the department. And from my understanding from both the caucus and conversations that we have had throughout the session is that the department is going to do everything it can to make sure that borrowers understand that they're included in the preamble. It's going to do everything it can to make sure that borrowers are not penalized for using prior relief programs, if that's fresh start, if that's save, um, and that is going to really use the factors here in combination to really get a holistic picture of what hardship means, what distress means, and then provide that relief accordingly. So I just want to put that on the record and underscore again for the department that for this to work for borrowers to really receive and understand that they're included in this relief, it needs to be explicit and it needs to be something that really has an intersectional analysis and understanding how hardship comes together across these factors. Uh, and I appreciate some of the conversation we've had around that so far, but just want to underscore it again because it's a possibility, opportunity here to deliver relief to borrowers who need it the most. And I would hate for it to play out like things we have seen in the past where miscommunication or not getting into the technicalities excludes borrowers who need the relief the most. Thank you. Thank you, Jalil. And if there's nothing else, I think we're going to move to consensus. Uh, recall, uh, I'm going to do a roll call uh, through, so it's going to be based on my screen, what I'm seeing. Uh, thumbs up for uh, agree, side for you can live with it. Uh, thumbs down to uh, be a dissent. Um, so with no further delay, I'm going to start with Kathleen Dwyer of Proprietary Institutions. Note that Kathleen, Kathleen has gone uh, thumbs sideways. Thank you, Kathleen. Vincent Andrews, uh, representing veterans and veterans uh, organizations. Thank you. That's a thumbs up from Vincent. Next, I have Angelica Williams. She's representing private nonprofit uh, institutions. Angelica? Good. Yes, I'm here. Thumbs, uh, how do you uh, oh, say sorry. consensus? Yeah, no worries. All right, okay. great. It's a thumbs up. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Sarah Butts, four year borrowers. Thumbs up. It's a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Melissa Coons, public institutions, uh, two year and four year. Okay, that's a thumbs up. Let's see. Ashley Pizzuti, uh, two year borrowers. Thumbs up. Thank you very much. Next, I have Jessica Renucci, Consumer Advocacy Organization. Thumbs up. Thank you. Next, I have Jordan Nellums. Jordan, current uh, students. Thank you. Thumbs up. Next, I have John Whitelaw, Civil Rights. Thumbs up, thank you. Uh, sorry, not civil rights. Um, students with disabilities. Oh, my, my apologies, my apologies. No worries, I just didn't want the civil rights folks to be left out. <laughs> no, no, I, I know they, they won't be. Uh, All right, thank uh, you. My apologies for my old eyes. It's all good. Uh, so. <laughs> all good. All right, next we have Lane Thompson. Lane? It looks like a thumbs, thumbs up. All right. Thank you. Next, I have Scott Waterman, legal assistant. Thank you. Thumbs up. 
Next, I have Yael Shevet, State AGs. Thumbs up. Thank you very much. And next, I have Civil Rights. Sorry, Wisdom. Wisdom Cole. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thumbs up. Next, I have Carol Peterson representing historically black colleges and universities. Okay, see, thumbs up. And next, I have Richard Haas, graduate borrowers. Okay, thank you. Thumbs up. Uh, next, I have Scott Buchanan, fell. Yeah, I abstain. You abstain, OK. Um, all right. And lastly, I have Tammy Abernathy from the department. I have a thumbs up. I'd make a note that we do have an abstention from Mr. Bu Cannon, uh, and uh, looks like we have uh, this passed as there was no uh, dissent. Thank you very much and congratulations, folks. Good work. Two thumbs up from Scott Walker and some clapping from, from Cindy. Uh, I don't know if we want to hand this off to you, Tammy, for any uh, concluding remarks. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, Tammy, you're muted. I hit the button. What an accomplishment that we have obtained in reaching consensus on the proposed regulations on hardship. We appreciate all the hard work of the committee and thank you for your commitment and dedication to serving the public in this very, very important issue. On behalf, I'm going to give my closing remarks unless anyone else has any. On behalf of Secretary Cardona, Under Secretary Qual, and the many Department of Education team members whose work made these last two days possible, thank you. Additionally, we appreciate our facilitators, FMCS, who have done a wonderful job keeping all of us straight. Most importantly, we want to thank you for serving as non federal negotiators during this fourth session. This concludes the negotiations on student debt relief. Thank you, Tammy, and thank you everyone for your service on this uh, committee. And with that, I think we're done for the day. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Goodbye.